let's begin why not with the one and only madam web the newest movie to come out of sony which again is a part of the ssu not to be confused with I, I, like, I don't know. They're going to change it by the next one. Uh, when Sony started this, obviously it was the old Spider-Man in Andrew, or not Andrew Garfield, in our Tobey Maguire, right? That's what started it all. There wasn't really all these big franchises. You kind of had Spider-Man going, you had the X-Men going. Then they rebooted it with Andrew Garfield. They didn't even tell Andrew Garfield he was gone. Then they got Tom Holland because they got that deal with the MCU. We're not going to get into all the deals with the MCU, but I'm sure, Zach, as someone who's not the biggest of... Comic book fans, you kind of get that they're sharing it, right? I don't know if there's anything else that a non-comic book fan needs to know about that whole ordeal. No, I mean, it's basically like they're doing everything they can to exploit the the vast Spider-Man universe of characters and offshoots and stuff because that's all they have access to. But in Sony's favor, it happens to be probably the most famous or iconic of these superhero characters, right? at least when it comes to big screen adaptations. You know, uh, obviously DC's got their Superman and Bat- Batman, but like Spider-Man is, is our most reliable superhero film franchise right now and I, I i see the the business decisions behind wanting to see all you can get out of it and especially <sighs> when a film like venom hits i see leaning further into that i i get where the decision to make a movie like this comes from uh that's about all i get about that <laughs> Bro, I don't get half the stuff they do here. If they were like Madam Web with every possible scenario on how to play <laughs> something, they somehow choose the worst every single time. Every single like, time. You're right. Spider-Man is the biggest of heroes. When Marvel mm-hmm. was at its peak, what happened in Civil War? Who did they bring in and everybody paid attention to, right? When Infinity War happened, right before Endgame, who was the biggest death that died in like the biggest superhero arms? It's Spider-Man. They just won not too long ago and are up this year for an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature Mm -hmm. with a Spider-Man. What the heck is a Madam Web? I have never seen a studio struggle so much in wanting to, like, honestly just whore out Spider-Man, but they can't even say his name in the movie. What type of movie baits fans to come in and goes, this is Peter Parker's mom, but she can't say Peter Parker. (laughs) What goofiness are we working with here? I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I did not like Morbius. As you know, I I reviewed Morbius so bad, Sony has not allowed LME to go back to any Sony screenings in general, not even at festivals, right? We did not get an invite to Madam Web. But damn, I don't like Morbius, and I would keep that review the exact same way. I I had such a blast in Madam Web because I truly think it's so bad it's good, dude. I don't know how you felt about it, if you felt uh, agony like a a lot of other people did, but she is in a weird movie. These Mm -hmm. girls think that they're in the MCU. (laughs) They got my boy Raheem, who is an incredible actor, man. Mm -hmm. I know you've seen some of his movies because people have been downplaying this man because they ADR'd him to death. Yeah. He is a classically trained actor, bro. He was in Napoleon. He is in one of my favorite movies, A Prophet. I think yeah. this is a legendary Shout out to a movie. Prophet. People think he can't act because every single line that he says, he's dubbing over, bro. It's like he recorded it for his language in French. <laughs> yeah. It, and came in to dub it. It's crazy. Atrocity. But it's uh-huh. so bad, it's good. I'm glad you had fun with it. Uh, maybe no. <laughs> if I subjected myself to the depths of Morbius, I would also come Wait, through. Wait, you never the saw Morbius? Side. I skipped it entirely. I could not put oh, myself so... through Jared Let Vampire Jared. That's how Leto. you know when you have great coffee when you've tasted the worst of the beans. <laughs> then you know when to truly. <laughs> well, so now I feel like I've see- tasted the worst of the beans because, like, I just don't know what we are doing here. I, I don't. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. It is so half-hearted, so halfway in. um, And that's like everything from the way it's written with the like blatant, uh, really lazy uh, exposition moments, the way it's acted where Dakota Johnson never really feels like any sort of urgency in her dialogue. She's saying the accents are in the wrong place. Like it should be (laughs) like, what are you doing? But it's yeah. on, what are you doing? What do you, what do you, what, why is it on the last word? <laughs> it, it's like, it feels so just like, I guess we're making a movie now. It, it, right? There's no, I, it doesn't feel like anybody had like any real interest in trying to make a good version of it. Just a version of it. They just wanted to get to the finish line of this movie. And I'm like, I was so sort of struck 
existentially by like the idea of how bad this movie could be, the idea of how it seems like inevitable that we're just going to continue getting these like uh you know, little slivers of IP exploitation in the means of like expanding this greater Spider-Verse. I, I did something I don't do often. I bought a ticket to a different movie to not, to, in order to not bro. see this one. What'd you buy it to? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, I helped bo boost the Bob Marley One Love okay, box that's office better. this weekend. Then that explains instead. why it came at number one. I was about to <laughs> right? say, you go in there and you're giving it to like Aquaman 2. Yeah. And I, I just I just did not want to be somebody who paid for Madam Web this weekend. Um, I don't think it matters, bro. These guys are never going to get smart with it. Um, I don't think so either. Did you see the director? The director has worked on a lot of TV, and I saw a lot of people were surprised to find out that she had directed one of the better episodes of Succession, which was really yeah. one of the only things in her big breakdown that stood out to me, right? Yeah, it's top the five one, episode for me. I know you love it. It's the one where they take uh, your boy um, to the this bachelor party. Yeah, yeah, Pro they call it, the episode's called Prague, uh, with the underground party. It's so funny. You would think that someone who directed that would have more self-awareness than what's happening here, which yeah. is why I have to say it's some sort of studio meddling, bro. I don't know if you've mm -hmm. heard the theories to this, and, and this is going to be slight spoilers, but I know nobody really cares, right? There yeah. are elements to this movie that are just bad filmmaking. Forget the fan service. There are moments in here where girls get kidnapped, and an hour after getting kidnapped, there are people reading about it in a newspaper. Now, Zach, you've been around in 03. <laughs> yeah. Newspapers didn't work that way. Like, there no. are just fundamental things that have nothing to do with comics yeah. that are just not being done here properly. Then you have the comic stuff, and it is just, like, dumb to a degree that it makes you wonder how can a character who can see the future acknowledge that her friends around her are going to have a really bad future and she's not gonna do anything about it she's almost like making jokes on it and this is where i wonder how much of this was supposed to be a different story do you get a competent director and you get a, a an actress who ha came in to do something and then it ends up being a completely different project after it all failed there was rumors that this is supposed to be their connection to one of the spider-mans right it mm -hmm. could be toby it could be andrew it could be whatever else i'm of the belief that it was supposed to be tom holland because of the year if he's right. a baby He's exactly the age he needs to be the, for the MCU. The lineage sort of lines up there. Right? They show you yeah. every single character, his parents. Have we seen him in the MCU? No. Have we seen mm -hmm. the uncle? No. Except what's the one person we've seen? The aunt. And it's mm -hmm. the one character they go, I'm dating somebody, but I can't say her name. <laughs> Bro, this is so corny. I, yeah. I don't get it. Um, but I would recommend when this comes out, like Zach said, rent a different movie and somehow get this one out of the red box. <laughs> you will have a blast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, 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 with friends drinking just just play a bingo game i'm sure a bingo card will come out on this um i thought it was uh, such a bad movie that i had a great time with it and i would recommend it as a beautiful stream it for those who are curious about it yeah i mean it, it it's funny because i've been seeing uh a lot of empty like Looking at the AMC A-list app, and you sometimes can see how many seats are occupied, right? Yeah. There's a lot of screenings that were completely open on Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday, when I uh, when I went, uh, there was a lot more competition for seats. It feels like it's almost building into something that's becoming more of a, like, you have to see it because people think it's so funny and bad than people rushing out opening weekend because it didn't. It didn't end up taking the number one spot at the box office this weekend, to my surprise. Yeah. yeah. That, that's crazy to me. And it makes me compare it to, like you were saying, you haven't seen Morbius, but I think you should do your homework and do so. Because I want you to see the difference between the two. I think that when people memed Morbius, it was just dunking on it because it was bad. There was nothing good on right. it. When Sony tried to make it into a meme and re-released it, what happened? The worst re-release <laughs> in history. Mm -hmm. You're right. This may be the one that people are actually returning, I think, because they like her more. I don't think people are as annoyed with her as a lead actress as they are with Jared Leto during that period in time. Mm -hmm. I think this actually has funnier scenes that are just, like, so dumb. Um, so I'm curious how, how they play that, uh, yeah. if it does I have legs think, throughout the week. I also think she has an audience of fans who kind there of are into that type of reaction, right? Like, I don't think that there's a bunch of people who want to meme Jared Leto and like that make that their identity. But mm -hmm. there are people who like live and breathe for Dakota Johnson's awkward press reactions. And you can get a lot of that energy from this movie. They, it, she has a bunch of lines in there, right? Where it's like, she's just yeah. setting it up for the in and out. So, uh, 
look, I don't think it's the worst. I, I know Zach is not happy with Sony or whatever the next one's going to be. Uh, I'd rather see Argyle Raven, again. So you're, whoa, don't. Yeah, I had a better time at Argyle. Stop, that's because that you got a shirt popcorn. out of Argyle. If you, came, <laughs> if you came out with a Madam Web shirt, maybe. Maybe it'd maybe. be a little bit higher for you. So maybe. you're not excited for Kraken? Um, Kraken, uh, Kra- sorry, Kraken, Craven. Cra- um, Craven, I don't even know it. Yeah. I guess I'm not even excited. <laughs> right? Um, Craven, I, I feel like that at least seems a little bit more, a little bit more like they're genuinely doing the movie. It, it doesn't seem as so? half-hearted, as, as like embarrassed by its own existence as this one does. But maybe I'm going to be wrong. I mean, I haven't enjoyed really any of these uh, Sony riffs on Spider-Man. I, I'm not a fan of the Venom movies either. I like the Venom movies a little bit more yeah. than what they've been doing with all this garbage. I but, mean, better uh, than this for sure. But yeah. like, I don't know. I mean, I'm you not. Also, I'm, I'm definitely not excited for Craven, but I'm not mm-hmm. dreading it the way that I think I was kind of dreading this one. Your thoughts on what they're going to be doing with Spider-Man if that deal with Disney ends up going kaput? Will they be able to handle Spider-Man on their own? It's like you have to call, call child services. You're calling <laughs> character services on this company who doesn't know what to right. do with their character. Yeah, I mean, I I think the thing is that, like, enough people care about the Tom Holland version of Spider-Man at this point that it doesn't necessarily need that interconnectedness with the greater MCU stuff. Agreed. It just might feel strange and different. But, you know, I, they haven't shown a real, like, patience at finding the right match of, like, filmmaker to IP, and that's the thing that would, I, I think, worry yes. me the most about what they do with the future of Spider-Man. Uh, that's a great point. Uh, shout out our boy Chase. He had made a great video about Star Wars that had that exact same outlook, which was you, they're not hiring people to make real movies to get a Dark Knight mm-hmm. trilogy, to get the Dune movies that we we're seeing, big IP stuff. They're not even giving you what Marvel used to at the beginning, right, which was a Raimi trilogy until it got sour. What was supposed to be mm-hmm. the first Iron Man with an actual vision from, uh, what's our boy, Swingers? Uh, John Favreau. Before, before Favreau became, you know, Disney's yeah. Favreau. But nonetheless, I, I agree with you. Having an actual voice behind it would make it a lot better. And I just, I'm worried that they're not, they're just not going to do that. Um, I don't think Spider Man's going to go back to Disney. You heard uh, Feige's war. <laughs> he's worn thin. No, I feel I, like we're getting less Marvel movies, but he's just admitting my boy Jimmy, Jimmy Gunn left and he was really doing all the work. <laughs> he's letting the stress show oh, and maybe it's getting man. to him. Please add your prayers for Spider-Man tonight at uh, baby Peter Parker. Hopefully he has a future because right now it's not looking the strongest. But Madam Web is out in theaters at the number two spot. So if you were curious, catch it on a catch it right now on a five dollar Tuesday because I think that's the better time to catch it. Or just wait till it's where it's Sony. It won't even be on Disney Plus at all. They, do Netflix? they still have a Netflix deal? I feel like they I do. Heard, I heard surprise news that Sony was not going to be producing all of the physical discs for Disney. Oh. So maybe maybe Madam Web was the sacrifice we needed to get physical media back. So thank you, Madam Web. I knew you were going to see all visions, and we appreciate you for that. <laughs>